fire. Hey, fire, earth, air, and water. Do you know that back in the day, these were considered as the fundamental elements that make up everything around us, make up life possible even. But of course, today we know that there are about 118 elements and these aren't fundamental elements. But what's interesting about each of these is that they all exist in different states of matter. Maybe they represented different states of matter. Water, liquid, air, gas, earth, solid, and fire. Huh. W what state of matter does fire exist in? To possibly figure out what state of matter fire represents, we first need to understand what exactly fire is. Of course, you may immediately think, well, fire is the bright and hot flame that we see out here. You're right, but partly. If you've noticed, let's say, incense sticks, You see, incense sticks burning and you would notice this red glow, but no flame. That doesn't mean it's not on fire. Remember, I told you it is burning, but just without flames. Confused? Let me break it down for you, all right? A fire starts when fuel ignites in the presence of oxygen. This ignition sets off a series of chemical reactions that eventually produce heat and light. That's what fire is. And depending on what the fuel is, it may or may not give birth to a flame. Now we say that a fire produces a flame. Upon looking closely, you'll see that the flame is actually made up of a stream of hot gases that's being released from the fuel every now and then. And in that sense, a flame, if present, is the bright, mesmerizing component of fire. So technically, fire itself is not matter. It's a process, the process of burning. And therefore, it can't be a solid liquid or a gas, right? Or any other state of matter for that matter. Flames, on the other hand, these are composed of matter. Instead of fire, it would actually be apt to wonder what state of matter a flame is in, right? Well, you might have heard and some people might suggest that Plasma is the state that flames exist in, the fourth state of matter. Plasma state does exist, but could a flame really be plasma? First up, if you're having a hard time imagining what the plasma state looks like, I know solids, liquids, gases, easy to understand, easy to visualize. But here, take a look. If I open this tube inside, this may look like a simple tube filled with regular gas. The moment you flip the switch, electricity surges through this tube light. The molecules eject electrons and convert into a cloud of ions. Now this gaseous cloud of ions and electrons is what is the state of plasma. An exciting state of matter. Apart from electricity, of course, there are other ways in which electrons can be ejected from gases. Heat a gas to a few thousands of degrees above zero. And so if the flame is hot enough, the gas could ionize, eject electrons, and that flame will be in plasma state. Just like the glowing flame from an acetylene torch that burns close to 3100 degrees centigrade. A flame hot enough to actually be plasma. Of course, unlike the low temperature flame of this burning candle, or even the gas burner in your kitchen, or burning wood, or incense sticks. Great. Now you know that fire is a process. It's not matter in itself. Whereas flames are made up of gases. And if they're hot enough, their state could be plasma. A mix of ions and electrons. Now talking about the flame, have you ever noticed why every flame has this kind of a really fancy teardrop shape? Go on, comment down below. I would really like to know your amazing thoughts on this. And if you think that this video is as lit as plasma flames, well, you know what to do. If you want to understand this conceptually every week, 
subscribe to our YouTube channel and download Byju's the Learning app. Let's see you soon.